And time now for three stock lunch. We're trading some of the big movers to the downside today, such as Lyft on pace for its worst day ever after that weaker than expected Q1 guidance, Expedia on its worst day since May after poor weather hurt fourth quarter results, and UPS flat today but on pace for its worst week since December. Here to help us trade them all is Shelby McFadden. She's senior analyst at Motley Fool Asset Management. Shelby, it's good to see you. Let's start with Lyft. Is this a discount or a well-deserved uh, trim, shall we say? Yeah, sure. So in my opinion, you know, I'm beholding, I'd be looking at Lyft as sort of a hold. And the reason being is that I'd need some more time to see uh, a little bit of, of proof from management uh, on their capital allocation and their strategy to continue to deliver some sort of value proposition uh, to allow them to maintain demand and to compete with their primary competitor, and that's Uber. So, you know, with one quarter of, of underperformance, however severe, uh, it's still, you know, I'm still willing to give them a little bit of room and say, all right, I'll wait and see. But what can you really deliver in this environment? Can you gain back some share? Is management making the right decisions uh, to leverage costs and to meet demand where it is? Or are we going to continue to see some sort of misallocation of capital and strategy that's going to say, okay, you know what, maybe it's time to, uh, to, to let go of that optimism mm -hmm. uh, and downgrade from hold? Well, I, I get your hold there because if you'd said sell, I would have said, well, why don't you tell me this on Tuesday? Uh, because uh, <laughs> it's, it's yeah, some help. It's gone down 36% <laughs> today. Let's move on to Expedia. Uh, fourth quarter results missed. They blame the weather. Is that a legitimate uh, excuse for Expedia, and what do you think of it? You know, I think especially when we're looking on an immediate term on a, on a one quarter basis, I think it's important to go ahead and look through that sort of top line shrinkage a bit because weather really is out of management's control. However, the reason I'd keep it at a hold uh, is because once again, I want to give a few quarters to see whether or not they're able to catch up on volumes. Can they catch up to their competitor? Uh, are they able to prove themselves when conditions are optimal? So can't control the weather, but are they controlling what they can control? Can they catch up on market share? And can they uh, do that in such a way that the return of travel continues to work in their favor? Are they aptly positioned to capture a, a, a return of demand for travel? And what can we expect from management in terms of leveraging the bottom line uh, if that sort of return, that sort of recoup is not actually in the cards in the future for them. Right. So you're kind of a cautious until you get more uh, and lift in Expedia. But I know UPS you feel a little bit more strongly about Shelby. In which way would you go with these shares? For me, UPS would be a buy. And UPS is absolutely a story of excellent management capital allocation and delivering a value proposition to their customers uh, in you know, making their tactical shift away from uh, quantity of volumes and towards quality of volumes finding clients that can meet them where they are, where they can impose pricing has been very important uh, to the fundamental performance of the company. You know, that said, we still have to uh, consider the fact that uh, consumer discretionary will play in a bit because of the proportion of business to consumer volumes for UPS. And, you know, we're continuing to wait and see on how the Teamster negotiations will go. But so far, management has shown me that they've really been in control. Uh, I'm feeling very positive of their ability to come out of these negotiations with positives for everyone. Uh, and they're continuing to deliver value uh, and be able to, to give pricing in a way that makes me feel really good about their competitive advantage and market share going forward. Shelby, thank you so much for being with us today. I don't know that I've met you before. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Shelby McFadden of Motley Fool.